بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر موونگ اہیڈ ود انڈرسٹینڈنگ دا ویریس اسٹیپولیشنز اینڈ دا ویریس فارمولیشنز اینڈ دا ویریس فریم ورکس آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اسپیشلی ان دا کانٹیکسٹ آف لسٹڈ کمپنیز اینڈ ون آف دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ تھنگس از دی بورڈ کمیٹیز وچ کانسٹیٹیوٹ اے ویری افیکٹو میکنزم فار دا بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز ٹو اوور سی اینڈ گیو اوور سائٹ ٹو دا ویریس میکنزمز اینڈ میکنیشنز of a particular organization. Now, when we look at the board committees, then the most important board committee is the audit committee. It has at least three members. The disclosure of the names of the members is extremely important. And they have a very important role of having an oversight over uh, internal audit and external audit both, and seeing that the organization tends to fulfill the various stipulations of the various laws and the various policies of the organization and also maintain the financial integrity of the organization. The company secretary uh, or the head of the internal audit is considered to be its secretary and maintains the minutes of the meeting and also its different directives to ensure that the company is following the highest levels and standards of integrity. Uh, they have to meet at least once a year and the CFO is the representative of the internal audit and It is mandatory for the chief financial officer to attend the particular meeting or the meetings which are called uh, by the uh, internal audit uh, committee, which is extremely important. The audit committee also uh, tends to formulate the different terms of service uh, and therefore uh, the board basically constitutes its terms of service. The terms of reference should have suitable measures for assets pr protection, facilitation of the external audit through observation. So, Again, very important uh, terms of references of the audit committee and again is considered to be pivotal in maintaining uh, best governance practices. Assessment of uh, management is extremely important and evaluation and score of the internal audit is also uh, given its different parameters by the audit committee. And we see that the audit committee has a very, very strong role in the management of the company and is always over there to oversee the different inputs done by the CFO and by the CEO and ensures the integrity of the organization. The next board committee, which is very important, ladies and gentlemen, is the Human Resource and Remuneration Committee. Uh, there should be a committee regarding human resource and remuneration. And again, there should be three members. This is a very powerful committee because all of the important positions and all of the important appointments are done through this committee. They are the ones who finalize the appointment of the CEO, of the different chief of, uh, officers, and oversee that uh, there is no imbalance uh, in the remuneration or there is no excess in the benefits which are given to the various chief officers or important positions within the organization. And they also have to see that uh, there is a proper process of recruitment and selection and there are options which are looked over to see that uh, there is no nepotism, there is no favoritism, Uh, there is no uh, abuse of authority uh, or uh, there is no corruption in the appointment of all of these very important uh, position holders and appointments. And that ensures the integrity of the organization. So what we see is that the majority of that particular committee are non-executive directors, preference of uh, independent directors, and the CEO can also uh, be a member but cannot be the chairman. So again, what we see is, is that this committee Uh, after the audit committee carries the most significance. And what we see is, is that these two committees, on one hand, the audit committee, and on the other hand, the human resource committee, basically ensure that the organization works in tantum and also is able to follow the different stipulations of corporate governance and also of the different laws and policies uh, which uh, are within and also externally uh, mm, compliant on that particular organization. And most important, like I was mentioning, they ensure the integrity of the organization. And therefore, the members have to be independent and also have to work with the highest levels of honesty and with the highest levels of integrity and ensure that they do not do any favoritism. And they are constantly watching the development in the human resource context and also in the final context. Thank you so much.